Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Henry, back from another top 10 video. We've all had experiences with things, whether it be this thing, this thing, or even this thing. So that's why I've compiled a list of my top 10 somethings. Let's go. Number 10. Coming in at number 10, we have dogs. It might be a controversial opinion to put dogs all the way at number 10, but the competition is just that steep. Don't let the placement fool you, our friendly canine friends are good enough to earn themselves a spot on this list. Number 9 Coming in at number 9 is fire. I know what you're thinking. Henry, since when do you become an arsonist? Well, fire can be used for much more than that. You can huddle around a campfire for warmth while roasting marshmallows. You can use fire to make food edible. And who doesn't have a nice memory of snuggling up by the fireplace with a cat? Speaking of cats... Number 8 I'm sorry to all dog people out there, but cats pick number 8 spot. This one all comes down to personal bias. I've had a cat for my entire life, and I love him to death. And who doesn't have a nice memory of snuggling up by the fireplace with a cat? Speaking of summer... Number 7 Summer There are some people who hate summer because it's too hot. Well, those people can get off this video, because summer is amazing! You can go outside without a jacket on. The weather is great, and best of all, no school. Yes! Finally, I can play Minecraft all day. Ha ha ha. Number six. Coming at number six, we have futons. They can be a bed or they can be a couch. What's not to love about futons? Also, their name rhymes with croutons. What's not to love about futons? Number five. The number five spot goes to the concept of love. Some people say that love is like a drug. Well, if that's the case, sign me up for an overdose. Butterflies in your stomach. To have your breath taken away. A match made in heaven. These are all phrases associated with love. My only wish is to feel it someday. Number four. Spoken language. Without spoken language, I would not be able to convey how much I like spoken language. I would just sound like a Buddha. What a relief. Number three. Hammocks. They're like beds, but less comfortable. They also hang from trees sometimes. When I was little, I would rock the hammock back and forth as aggressively as possible. I don't do that anymore. Now I just lie on them like a normal human being. And that's pretty epic. Number two. Humanity. There's been a lot of negativity over the past few years, and not without reason. There's been some real bad shit going on, and to us it just often seems like things are getting worse and worse. And maybe they are, I don't know. Negativity can be good. It often leads to necessary change, but constant negativity just leads to cynicism and a belief that everything is terrible and that nothing will ever get better, which is not helpful or even true. Look at the big picture. If I was born to a farmer in the Holy Roman Empire in the 16th century, I would grow up, I would work from sunrise to sundown on my parents' farm, growing just enough food not to starve to death, and then I would die at the age of 60 in the same town I was born in. And look at life now. I mean, yeah, of course, life is still terrible for a lot of people. Human trafficking exists, modern slavery exists, and there are 25 million people living in North Korea. But the undeniable truth is that life is better now than it was 500 years ago. And it's better than it was 200 years ago, or 100 years ago, or 50. 20 years ago, supporting gay people's right to exist was political suicide. The entirety of human history is full of things being terrible, and yet they've always gotten better in the long run. And of course there's still work to do. There will always be work to do. But once in a while, you need to take a step back and look at how far we've come. I like to walk up this hill once in a while, as the sun sets, and look down my city below me. I see the streets I've lived my life on, all together one panoramic shot. And when it gets dark, I like to see lights come on. Each one representing a real human who is living life just as real and meaningful as mine. And I see the world together, trying to find a way in a strange world made for ourselves. Down there, there are people loving each other, helping each other, making each other's days just a little bit brighter. Down there, there are cats and dogs and hammocks and futons and fire and love and spoken language. There are people just longing for summer, like I am. I know this may sound like some garbage hippie shit, but I believe people are more good than they are bad. And the fact that we haven't destroyed each other yet is a testament to that. And sometimes things will get worse, and sometimes the bad people will win. But we always pull through in the end. We always do. It's only human.
Number one. Ice cream. Yum, yum, yum. A cool, creamy treat. And it comes in all these flavors. What not to love? And that's why ice cream takes my number one spot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, favorite, share this video with your friends, share this video with your family, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Vine, join my Discord, add me to your RSS feed.